An up and comer in the country music world will be making a stop here in Southern California for the Stagecoach Music Festival in Indio. That's next month. After being a contestant on the show, The Voice, Cameron Marlowe's first hit single, Giving Up, Giving You Up, shot to the top of the charts. I sat down with him to find out why he's never giving up and what keeps Cameron going. Last night might as well have been an all out war. Girl, I don't want to fight like that no more. Cameron, tell me a little bit about this journey. What has this road been like for you? It's kind of happened really fast, and it's uh, also feels like it's taken years. Uh, <laughs> But it has been an amazing journey. I would not trade being able to play music every day for a living. Cause I'm giving you up, just like I, did I read that you actually were working at an auto parts store when suddenly your whole life took a completely different turn. First of all, is that true and what happened? It is. Uh, so I used to sell car parts, yes, for uh, General Motors. And basically I had this girl that I was planning on getting married to and when things didn't work out, I didn't really know what to do. So I kind of turned to writing and uh, writing songs and things like that. And I ended up writing a song that was gonna be my very first platinum song that I didn't even know it. Uh, I didn't even realize I was writing a song at that point. I just was writing words down on the paper that meant something to me. Where did this talent come from, Cameron? Did, did you grow up singing? Did your parents or grandparents ever say, I think you got something? I grew up singing in the church. Um, and then after that, I tried to go to college to learn music business and stuff like that. I didn't last long in college, I'll be honest. But um, I guess I just kind of kept up with it and kept going with it. So take me home to Carolina. I don't want to be here anymore. Take me home to Carolina. It's yeah. such, a, such a great song. And it really kind of takes you back to your roots. What was going through your mind when you wrote that one? I'll be honest, I was a little angry when I wrote it. Um, I had some things that just really weren't going my way. I've always wanted to be somebody that really lays himself out there in their songwriting. And uh, this was just a moment in uh, time that I just felt like I had to capture. So uh, I propped up my phone and uh, the song that's out is actually the just the voice memo that I was that was recorded right after I wrote the song. Cameron, who keeps you grounded and humble? Who's your support system? I would say my family is uh, they're with me every step of the way. They've been with me every step of the way and always supported me. And uh, without them, I don't think I can do anything, uh, especially not the music in this crazy music industry. So uh, I think they have a lot to do. With that. Uh, I liked him. He Boy, he's really nice. he, he's easy to root for. Yes, just a lot of humility, a lot of real. Just you could see the appreciation and just feel it. He he feels like this is what he's supposed to be doing, but uh, he's humble about it. Yeah, I always think, you know, when those moments hit in your life where everything seems like it's falling apart and you right. can't see it at the time, but it's really all coming together. And it all started with that hit song from a breakup. Boy, did it for Cameron. So Cameron Marlowe set to perform at Stagecoach on April 29th. The headliner that night is none other than Kane Brown. For ticket information, go to stagecoachmusicfestival.com.